Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nighttime Entrepreneur YouTube channel. Today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Elgato Camlink 4K as well as covering whether or not it's compatible for your setup and your camera. And not only this, but I'm going to give you a heads up on potential issues or things you might want to look out for in order to get this set up as quickly as possible. The Elgato Camlink 4K is of course one rank up from its predecessor that only went up to 1080p. With this newer version, you can capture up to 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second. So what's in the box? So as you can see, as we open the box, you're going to, of course, uncover the Camlink 4K itself, a USB 3 extension cable and a quick start guide as well as a sticker. The Camlink 4K is there to allow your DSLR camera to replace your webcam. It converts your HDMI out into a USB input that goes into your PC. Chances are your camera will have a mini HDMI output, so you may need a mini HDMI to regular HDMI wire. Again, that's a mini HDMI to regular HDMI. I will link one of these below in the video. They're available on Amazon or pretty much at any major electronics retailer. Just don't skimp here, be sure to get a good one. So guys, before you go off and purchase the Camlink 4K, it is important to pay attention to the requirements uh, that your PC might uh, have to have in order for the Camlink 4K to work correctly. Uh, Mac OS Sierra 10.12 or Windows 10 64-bit, uh, CPU, 4th generation quad-core Intel Core i5 CPU, and the USB 3.0 ports. Um, with the spec then, you just need a HDMI input, and of course there's a list of resolutions there as well. Most um, computers, most modern computers um, would meet all of these requirements. Just check on your uh, CPU, whether it's i5 or above. Now guys, something major to look out for when using a DSLR as a webcam is the power. You will burn through your battery really quickly and cut out probably 20 minutes into your stream. So something else you may also need is an AV wire that is technically pretending to be a battery to your DSLR, but is actually plugged into your mains electricity. Most DSLRs are only designed to capture video for up to 20 or 30 minutes and then cut out. Depending on your camera, you can get these AV adapters on Amazon, for example. Now, while most DSLRs are set up to cut out after 20 or 30 minutes, some cameras are not set up like this, and some can actually be set up to remove this limit, and some can't. This is why there's a list of compatible cameras on the Elgato website. I'll put the link to that specific page below the video. One other potential issue you may face, and this is the last one I promise, because this setup is using your HDMI output, it will send everything on your camera screen to the cam link. So if your camera display is showing all of the usual HUD items, it will also send that to the cam link. So you need to see if your camera can offer what's known as a clean feed to the cam link. Now producing a clean feed is a simple setting your camera either has or does not have. If your camera can do this, it's also detailed under the compatible cameras list on the Elgato website. Okay guys, so firstly what you need to do is plug your HDMI into your cam link. This HDMI is the uh, large HDMI, the regular one, as opposed to the mini HDMI port which is on the other end of that wire. Of course then guys, plug your cam link into a USB port that goes into your PC or that's on your PC. I'm just using this external USB port hub that is connected to my computer. Then simply take the other end of that wire, which is the mini HDMI, and plug that into your DSLR. Then just go to your menu and make sure that you're outputting a clean HDMI feed. Once you have a clean HDMI feed, uh, your Elgato software should pick up on the cam link and you should then have a crystal clear image. Your DSLR will now be your webcam and it will appear as though your webcam is 1080p or even 4K. 